This is a project that is using the pnpm javascript package manager. Let's say I need to install chalk to style my terminal output. I go to their github, copy the install script, and run it into terminal. Pause. I just ran npm install in a pnpm project. Normally, this would cause a bunch of problems, like generating an extra lock file, messing up my node modules folder, and more, causing me to have to clean it all up. But not to worry, because I have npm confirm. Instead of directly running the install script, npm confirm has already found that I'm actually using pnpm. It gives me an option to run the install script with the correct package manager, which I can choose to run just by clicking enter. And just like that, npm confirm has saved my JavaScript project. Now that you know what npm confirm does, here is a little bit of background. Because it's 2024 and I like to live on the cutting edge, instead of using npm, the standard JavaScript package manager, I like to use bun, an ultra-fast all-in-one JavaScript runtime and package manager. In other words, when installing a library, instead of npm install package, I would need to run bun install package. However, most documentation for JavaScript packages on the internet typically only give installation scripts you can copy for npm installation. As a lazy person, I mean efficient developer, I'm not a big fan of editing the commands to adapt to my package manager. First, that requires remembering which package manager I'm using for different projects, and second, it also just involves extra work of going back in and changing things. Thus, I wanted a better solution, a way to just run npm commands and have a tool to automatically correct a command for whatever package manager I'm using. That's why I created npm confirm, or npmc for short. Here's a more detailed look. If you want to try out npm confirm for yourself or follow along, start by installing with npm install-g for global followed by npm-confirm. This will allow you to use the npmc command globally. In most cases, this command works exactly like the standard npm command. However, when you run npmc in a directory where it specifically detects a non-npm package manager, it will show you a confirmation message. For example, here's what happens if you run npmc install chalk in a directory with the bun package manager. In this scenario, you have three options. First, you can choose to run the command with the package manager detected in your environment. This is the default option, which you can run with just clicking enter. Note that npm confirm will automatically adapt your commands to work with the new package manager. For example, for bun, this includes changes like install for npm to add, dash dash dev to simply dash d, npm ci to bun install dash dash no save, and so on. Note that these conversions also work for pnpm and yarn. The second option you have in the confirmation menu is to run the command that you typed in originally for npm just in case that you actually meant to use a different package manager. The third option is to simply cancel and do nothing. A nice feature about npm confirm is that it intelligently checks your command before confirming with you. For one, if it doesn't detect any explicit dot files signifying a package manager in your specific directory, it will allow you to use npm like normal. Furthermore, npmc won't launch a confirmation when checking the version of another package manager or when running help on any package managers. Finally, npmc is pretty cool in of itself, but it isn't much use as a separate command from npm. There, it still has the same problem if you just copy and paste npm commands. You still have to modify it to npmc. Thus, I recommend directly aliasing npm to npmc, which you can do with these following scripts, depending on your shell. Now is probably a good time to mention a difference between npmc and ni. For those of you who don't know, ni by at and foo is a way to install a package while automatically adapting to the current package manager, pretty similar to npm confirm, but with a few major differences. If you use ni as its own command, it has the same problem that I mentioned before. You still need to change the command from npm install package to ni package, which is still a bit of work. You can equivalently alias npm install to ni, but the problem is that it directly changes your command to the detected package manager without any form of confirmation stage. In other words, it violates the principle of least astonishment. With npmc, you get a confirmation pop-up that allows you to completely control what you will do. Run a modify command, run your original command, 
or simply quit. Furthermore, the command you will run is always displayed, so you can always check if mpmc is running what it's supposed to run. You may also want aliases for bun, pnpm, and yarn that check in with you when you use a different package manager from those. By passing in the bun alias, pnpm alias, or yarn alias flags mpmc, it will instead act as a wrapper for those package managers instead. This is meant to work best as aliases to your shell RC file, like this. Again, if you want to try out npmc for yourself, install with npm install g npm confirm, or if you want to check out the source, go to github.com slash evanjoedev slash npm confirm. Please let me know if you have any feedback on GitHub or in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed, and together, let's create a world where running npm install in a bun project never happens again. Peace.